Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cobra Kai Studios for another fan question video with your host, Daniel San. And in tonight's video, we got a, a, quite a bit of questions to go over, so it might be, like usual, a 20 minute plus video. <laughs> but we're just gonna get right into this. Will Miguel tell his mom that Johnny is like a father to him and has helped him out a lot? Yeah, I do. I, I feel like that's something that we might not see it play out in that exact way. But just from watching the show, you do actually see that happen, though. Miguel looks up to Johnny as a father figure, and you see that happen rather quickly. And it's it, it really kind of, in its own way, is an Easter egg to Daniel looking up to Mr. Miyagi as a father figure in the Karate Kid sagas. So, yeah, I can I could see that happening without a doubt honestly it might not be you know portrayed in that exact way and it might not be said in that exact way but i could see something along that lines happening in season three especially when miguel you know comes out of his a coma whatever you know whenever that happens what do you think you think that that's something we might see in the you know season three because i i kind of feel like we might on to the next question from Scott. Do you think Moon will have a bigger role, at least early on in Season 3, with her peace stance? I could see her protesting the violence at school, combine the protesting with Kreese's Vietnam background. I could see him becoming unhinged. Okay. Yeah, I could, I could see Moon having a bigger role moving forward. Maybe not even just in Season 3. Like, already towards the end of Season 2, we kind of seen her, you know off and on since season one obviously but i mean yeah i could see her playing a bigger role and maybe even like you like you like you said um protesting the whole school fight because that it, it just kind of seems like that's something she would indeed be against so in my personal opinion yeah i could see that playing out in some kind of a way and her character is not too bad I, I don't mind her character i think that her character has the potential to grow in the show and could actually provide an insight to other characters maybe calming down about things maybe not being such grudgeful against the other characters that they have these rivalries with already you know that's just my opinion on that one though should amanda carmen daniel johnny sit down with each other and talk about the school fight i feel like that would be a great thing if they did it wouldn't hurt to see all four of them kind of sit down and discuss what actually happened why it actually happened what led to it happening and what they can maybe do to continue allowing their students to grow, students slash kids grow in the martial arts community, as well as maybe try to help them keep something like that from happening again. Because obviously that's not something you want your students to do or your kids, nonetheless. Just my opinion. But what do you think? Do you think that's something we can expect to see? I, I honestly do. I feel like that's something we 100% could, could expect to see. On to the next question. Cobra Kai's origins... Or it's not really a question. It's more like an answer. Cobra Kai's origins is through Miyagi and the people he trained in his military career. I, I agree, Roy. 100%. And you kind of... You could kinda, you can see a lot of Miyagi's like teachings to Daniel have helped him a lot since he's, you know, left the whole you know since Miyagi's passed away he he still follows by all of his training and teachings and life lessons that he learned from Mr. Miyagi I feel like it's something that we will continue to see moving forward you know just as as they continue to grow you're gonna see Daniel's training probably be passed on to Sam maybe even Daniel's son who knows do you think that Carmen's mom will tell her to let Johnny see Miguel and continue training him? I I hope so, because I feel like Carmen's mom might be able to, to you know, kind of coax Carmen into, you know, understanding that what happened was not Johnny's fault in any way. It really was not. There's no way that it should have been blamed on Johnny. The fact that she just kind of seems to blame it all on Johnny, I get it. You know, her son's in very critical condition. Any mom that, you know, has their kid, whether it be... I don't know, it's any any parent that would go through that, I can imagine, would kind of behave the same way that Carmen did, at least at first. It's not something I wouldn't expect to see, just in my opinion. On to the next one. If Imagine if Johnny and Daniel joined forces to form Miyagi Kai, Robbie and Miguel joined forces with the other Miyagi-Do students to rage war on the new Cobra Kai army. That would be amazing to see, and I know most of you probably wouldn't care to see that, but I personally would. I think... Now, I don't think that that rivalry should completely die, but just for the time being, like for like a season, it would be kind of interesting to see Johnny and Daniel team up and 
also see Johnny train and help Robbie as well as Miguel. You know, it would be kind of interesting to see Robbie and Miguel on the same side too. Uh, and I mentioned this in previous videos that that's something I wouldn't be against. Now, I do like the conflict and rivalry that exists within Cobra Kai because it keeps you interested in the show. So I don't think that's something that should remain if it was to play out that way. But at the same time, I wouldn't be upset if it did. I just feel like they would they would find other characters to be rivals with. Obviously, they would have the Cobra Kai to be rivalries with, with obviously Hawk and all of the people that remain Cobra Kais. So at the end of the day, there would still be a rivalry in its own way that would I would still enjoy it. I wouldn't mind seeing that. In my own opinion, I think that would actually be kind of interesting. What do you think? Would you like to see that or no, not really? You know, no, let me know. What do you how do you feel about that? Do you think that Tori will blame herself for what happened to Miguel in the school fight? I could see that happening because of the fact that she kind of started it. I mean, she initiated the first punch in a sense. She struck first <laughs> and she wasn't as scared to do it. You know, she, she went after Sam and the rest is history. We've seen where that led to. It went from her and Sam fighting to Miguel and Robbie fighting to Hawk fighting with pretty much everybody and then... You know, it just kind of progressed. And then, of course, sadly, Miguel ended up being injured because of this. And now that leaves us wondering what all can we expect from Season 3. Now, with the new teaser that we got from Cobra Kai today, I'm pretty sure that that slip-up January 2nd release date is a... I, I would pretty much say 95 to 99% positive that's going to be when we get it. I can expect that if that's the case, we will get a trailer between October and December. I would imagine before December, though, I would assume, honestly, between late October to early November that we will get a trailer for Season 3. If not the release date then, then, then not too long from then, we should get the release date of January 2nd, if that's the case. I don't see them doing that little teaser if they don't plan for it to come out sooner than that. Just my opinion. What would happen if Amanda had let Sam talk to Miguel on the cell phone? I feel like if, if, if Amanda would have just let Sam answer that call like she asked, her and Miguel probably wouldn't have broke up. At least not right then. I feel like they would have remained a couple. And Miguel and Robbie might not even have been on bad terms because of this. You know, it's, it's because of that that Miguel and Robbie actually ended up being on bad terms. Which led to the whole conflict that we end up seeing where nobody likes anybody in the end of season two. Everybody's kind of against each other and... Now we're left wondering what can we expect to see moving forward beyond just season three, you know? Do you think that Sam will tell Carmen that she kissed Miguel at Moon's party and that what started this fool? I don't think that she will. I honestly don't think Sam will. I feel like Sam's kind of the one to kind of blame it on Tori versus accepting where she messed up. You know what I mean? She, that's just my opinion. I see her being like that. I don't think she will, Aaron. That's just my opinion. Now, honestly, she should. It would be the right thing to do. 100% would be the right thing to do. But will she do it? What do you think? Do you think that Sam's going to admit to her wrongs and kind of, you know, try to explain to Carmen that she kissed Miguel at Moon's party and it led to Tori seeing it and kind of led to what we ended up seeing happen? I don't think she will, though. Just I just don't. I don't think she will. Should Miguel have told Sam that he stopped by her house? Yeah, I think he should have. There's a lot that this, that both Sam should have told Miguel, Miguel should have told Sam, and Robbie should have been honest to Sam and Miguel about things that were happening. Just my opinion, I felt like it would have lessened a lot of the conflict that it happened, but that's just not how it happened, you know? they. But at the same time, I, they did it for a reason. The, the, the creators of the show did it for a reason. There's more that we're going to see as these seasons progress. And it's going to lead back to this. And we're going to be like, oh, okay, I understand now. You know, that, that's just, that's the way they're doing the show. And, it, and it's brilliantly done. They've done this in such a great way that they're going to keep people interested in the show long after the show ends. And hopefully it don't end soon. But I'm hoping we get at least six to ten seasons. Just my opinion. I would love for ten seasons. I feel like they could really definitely make ten seasons out of Cobra Kai. 100%. Mike Barnes was the better fighter because he was the world karate champion. I, I agree. He was a really good fighter. He, I mean, he, yeah, he wasn't the best person. But as, as far as fighter, he was a really good fighter. He really was. Terry Silver versus Daniel. Who will win? I would assume Daniel would win. Just my opinion. But then again, we don't know how hardcore Terry Silver's has still been training behind the scenes. You know, Daniel, in a sense, is kind of still a little rusty compared to what terry silvers might be so terry silvers might beat his ass just 
I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out that Terry Silvers might have been practicing this whole time and might just come back in and have no problem taking Daniel out. You know, just can't rule it out. Just my opinion. <laughs> It was Amanda's fault what happened to Sam at the beach party. It, yeah, I can understand where you're coming from that, Aaron. I can, and I can actually kind of agree on that. It really was. The whole situation, Amanda has kind of caused a lot of conflict with certain parenting laws that she decided to abide by. And I understand, you know, you got to be a parent. You got to keep your kids in line. You got to, you know, be a parent and train them in a sense. But there's also certain ways that she could have gone about it to where things wouldn't have portrayed and played out the way they did. But, you know, what can we do? It happened the way it happened. I feel like it would have been a lot better off if it didn't happen in certain things. Like, certain things. Like, I felt like if she would have let her talk to Miguel, it might have played out differently. Yeah, now her and Miguel might have still ended up not being together. And Tori... Or Tori. And uh, Tori and Miguel, yeah. Tori and Miguel might have ended up still being a thing. Just my opinion. Obviously, him and Tori kind of had a thing right off the bat. Because them two were the first two the, that fought each other when, you know, Tori joined Cobra Kai. I believe that Miguel and Kyler will get a huge fight, like a deathmatch status, and then Robbie will come in as a pre-final to the final, maybe season 3, episode 9, and save Miguel from Kyler killing him. Hmm. You know, that, that's an interesting one, Jim. I, li- I like the, the way that you worded it and how you, you know, it, it. I wouldn't rule it out because of the whole, you know, the way Kyler and Miguel have this huge thing. But in my opinion, I can kind of see Kyler joining Cobra Kai. Just my thing. I could see him joining Cobra Kai, and and then we might get something similar to that. I mean, we might really see him and Miguel fight, in a, whether it be tournament style status or just on the street. But I don't agree that I think that I don't think um, Miguel, uh, Robbie would have to come in and help him. I think Miguel would still be able to kick Kyler's ass. Just just my opinion. I, I mean, maybe not. You know, it's going to depend. And that would really depend. But in my opinion, I feel like I think Miguel would still have the upper upper hand and be able to take out Kyler no matter what the situation is. Same with Robbie. If Robbie was to face Kyler, I think Robbie would beat Kyler as well. I just I think that they're both better fighters than Kyler is. But we don't know where Kyler might be in Season 3. He might have, you know, we haven't really heard too much about him what if he went and joined his own karate studio because he was tired of getting beat up by people he used to beat up (laughs) you know it's interesting to think about because there's no full story on kyler just yet do you think that amanda and carmen will sit down with each other and talk about what happened in the school fight maybe i mean i wouldn't rule it out it's just something that i i wouldn't say we won't get to see but we might see something along those lines a lot of people want to see Amanda versus Carmen is in a fight. <laughs> I think that would be a crazy fight. Uh, probably Amanda would probably win, though. Why was Sam mean to Isha and Cobra Kai season one? Because Sam was kind of falling in with the wrong crowd of friends, and she wanted to kind of remain friends and remain with that, you know, tier of status that she had developed between those friends. So she kind of... I don't think purposely wanted to be mean to to Aisha, but it just ended up happening that way. And then Aisha made friends with Tori, which turned Aisha into a different person, honestly. It gave her a lot more confidence. She became a Cobra Kai. Kind of got that I don't give a damn attitude, and you see it play out. (laughs) The idea is that Daniel made all his money because of Mr. Miyagi's amazing influence on him. Oh, yeah, nice, Jim. That's like answering the question from a previous video about, you know, why, why Daniel became so successful and Johnny wasn't. And I agree. You know, he really did. He learned a lot of brilliant influences and lessons from Miyagi that just stuck with him and ended up playing out into the, into this, you know, his future of his success. What if Sam and Miguel get back together? He joins Miyagi Do with Johnny. They fight each other in the All Valley. Then Miguel beats her for Cobra Kai and dedicates his trophy to John Kreese. Cobra Kai and John Kreese and Cobra Kai and says F you to Miyagi Do and Johnny. Eh, that would be weird, wouldn't it? That would be a really, really messed up twist on Miguel's part. I'm gonna say that I wouldn't be against it, but then again, I don't know. You know, it's just kind of like eh. I don't think Miguel would do that, especially because he he so seemed to be so dedicated to to Johnny. But I guess that's gonna really depend on how his input on Johnny and whole idea of johnny is moving forward after what happened you know i i wouldn't say that he would do that though my opinion is i wouldn't expect to see that but it would make a hell of a plot twist if they decided to throw that in there 
and end up making Miguel the bad guy, you know? And, and that would be kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't put it past them to do something in that kind of a way. But I don't know. Would you like to see a Bruce Lee story where he trained Mr. Miyagi or Mr. Miyagi's dad? Uh, that would be kind of interesting. You know, Bruce Lee was a, a very big role model and inspiration to me in martial arts when I was growing up. Watching the Bruce Lee movies with my dad and enjoying, you know, a lot of other martial arts style movies back in the day and kung fu movies is what really led me to get interested in martial arts and decide that I wanted to join martial arts. And when I did, I got extremely dedicated to martial arts. Like, I'm still pretty dedicated, but as dedicated as I was as a kid, I mean, I was going to school, I'd get out of school at 3 o'clock and I'd be at the dojo from 4 o'clock till 10 o'clock every day. Like, I overexerted myself, I overtrained in a lot of situations. But it it all led to me being a really good fighter, led to me being a really good student, as well as being a pre-step for a master because I was training people. So, I mean, it played into a huge role in my life, and I I just, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing something along that lines. It'd be interesting to see. Was Yasmin and Moon doing drugs or anything along that lines possible? I wouldn't put it past Yasmin because she just seems like she was you know not the best of role models in the show she was doing things that were not really nice i wouldn't put it past her to do something like that moon i don't think though i don't think so not on moon i i feel like she is a like a nicer character yeah she kind of has that hippie type vibe but with how cobra kai is i just don't think that that would in any way play the role into cobra kai I don't think that's something they want to be brought into the show in any way. And I fully understand that, you know. You don't usually mix drugs in martial arts. It's just not something that go together. It's not something I believe in going together. It's just how it is, you know. Would you like to... Oh, no, no, no. I already answered that question. Sorry, sorry. Do you think that Hawk will date Yasmin to, to, to make Moon jealous? I would not put that past Hawk. That looks like and sounds like a Hawk move 100%. So I would say I could guaranteedly see that. I wouldn't say it's guaranteed going to happen, but I could guaranteedly, in my opinion, see that happening. Hawk seems like the spiteful type to want to do something like that. But I could also see Moon not even caring. You know, I could just see her being like, eh, whatever. She seems like the type that she's already kind of moving on and she's going to do her own thing. But, you know, that's just my opinion. We don't see enough about the whole backstory between Moon and Hawk yet that I can't really answer that question. But my opinion on that is that, you know, will Sam get back together with Kyler? No, I don't. I hope not in a ways, but no, I don't see her getting back together with Kyler. I think her and Kyler's little adventure is done. If anything, she's going to get with somebody completely new, maybe, you know. I, but I don't I don't think she'll get back together with Kyler. Do you think she's going to get back together with Kyler? I, I don't think so. If John Kreese is in the hospital dying, will Johnny and Terry Silver visit him? UK, this kind of plays into a lot of people think that John Kreese might be the person to die in season three. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not against that. I could actually see that because he's a main character that I could see them killing off. Me personally, I think the person that we're going to see die in season three is Sid. And I think we're going to see the whole who's going to take over Sid's inheritance situation play out. That's just what I think is going to happen. Not to say that it is what gonna, what's going to happen, but that's just what I think is going to happen. But let's just say that John Kreese is for sure the one that's going to die. Yeah, I can see Johnny and Terry Silvers both seeing him in the hospital. I know Johnny doesn't like Kreese and everything, but at the end of the day, I, I can see Johnny just, you know, I can see Johnny going to pay his respects in some way. I, I, w- I wouldn't put it past him in any way. What do you think? Do you think that Johnny would visit Kreese if he was in the hospital? I'm, I'm positive Terry Silvers will. You know, if that's the play out, I'm positive that that would probably happen. What if Shannon Lee was to play Tori's mom? Would you like to see Shannon Lee in Cobra Kai? I wouldn't be against it. I mean, it would be different, to, and I wouldn't rule it out. I just, I don't personally think that that's her mom. That's just my opinion. I don't think that that's her mom. But maybe you do. And if you do, don't feel, you know, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you think. But... That's going to be all the questions from you all that I, that we have tonight. Obviously, if you have any more questions, debates, topics, anything you would like to talk about, feel free to leave a comment. I really enjoy making these videos. I try to make them daily. So, you know, don't, don't be afraid to go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. How do you feel about, you know, certain things that played out in the show? What do you expect to see in season three, season four? What do you want to see in season three or season four? don't don't feel you know don't hesitate to leave a comment i really enjoy interacting with everybody i enjoy making these videos where we just get you know sit down talk for 20 30 minutes debate about 
our favorite show, Cobra Kai, you know? So let's discuss what we like to talk about, you know? It's a lot of fun. But we're going to go ahead and end the video there. I want to say thank you to Bonsai Kai Dojo. Thank you to all of my moderators. Thank you to all you subscribers. Everybody that's not a subscriber but still watch my video. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, stay badass, everyone. Have a good one.